Hi beautiful people. So today we're going to do a DIY. I skipped last week. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I'm going to really try to do once a week, but it's a bit challenging. So bear with me. Um, but I will try my best to do one DIY a week. Um, so, so I'm going to be doing a requested video, Valentine's Day DIY inspired gift ideas. And I think I'm going to do three of these. I'm going to do post one today and then I will do two more next week. So I'll double up next week since I missed last week. Um, so this is just a simple DIY that we're going to do for Valentine's Day for your boo, for your sweetie, for your so babe. We are going to make personalized candy boxes, candy boxes that you can give to your sweetheart filled with yummy candy of their choice or candy that you know that they like and you're gonna fill the box up with their favorite candy how fun is that rather than going to the store and purchasing a pre-packaged candy box that you know they're gonna pick over and maybe not even eat it at all they might give it away I've done that a couple times <laughs> okay guys so here's the DIY Valentine's Day candy gift box that you are going to make yourself and gift to your loved ones. Here I just have a simple paper box that I bought. I picked this box up at Joanne Fabrics. It was 50% off. It's actually a box used for cupcakes, but I'm going to fill it with um, some candy that I think whoever I want to gift it to for Valentine's Day. In here I have some peanut chocolate clusters and I have some maple bonbons I have some sweethearts and they're actually the tart ones and I have some sour patch hey kids so here are a couple box options I got this box at Joanne fabrics as well it's a smaller size box so I am I wouldn't use you could only probably you know put like one cupcake holder in there but then I have these small tiny ones so you could put those around it if you want it to or you could just fill the box up with the smaller um, kind of mini candy cups there too. Also, um, you know, you can use any size box. You could use an old shoe box and wrap it with Valentine's gift wrap on the outside so it has like a Valentine's Day theme on it. You could um, buy pre-made box like this one. This one was 50 cents at Joann's because it was discounted or on sale. And then I have these paper boxes that you kind of just, you know, flip out they're just folded but you just flip them out and it's the same one I just showed you and it's actually like I mentioned used for cupcakes and it had a cupcake holder but I thought I'd use it for a candy box um, you could use a 10 can so you know get creative use whatever you want so but here's anyway. my paper box I've put in my cupcake holders in there I think I can get five in there and um, then I bought some sweethearts they were like 25 cents that's like old school prices um, at, I don't know, like a drugstore. Then I went to C's and I got some selective chocolates that I thought would be great to put in my candy box. And I got some Sour Patch Kids. I was going to grab another candy, but I couldn't remember what I wanted. So this is what I got. Um, so then all you're going to do is just take your selection and like, like I always mention, feel free to use gloves. If your hands are clean, you know, use your hands. But if you think whoever you're gifting this to gets a little creep out with you touching their food, just go ahead and use gloves. So I'm gonna just gonna take the candy and just stick it wherever I think. It's pretty easy, guys. I'm sure you guys can <laughs> figure this out on your own. And uh, okay, so you guys, so here we are done with the candy filled in our little paper cups. And then what I did was I went to when I got the um, chocolate and the maple bonbons at C's. I asked them for this bubble wrap, and it's actually what they place in their own candy boxes to keep the candy fresh. Um, I don't know if you could buy it, you know, at a different store. I just asked them for a piece and they were gracious enough to give it to me. So then you could also just leave your candy like this and then just stick the top on. Um, and it's kind of pretty because you can see the candy through it. But if you're using a shoe box, you wouldn't be able to, you know, um, see that. So I am going to go ahead and take this piece of fresh the bubble wrap and just place it on there and then I'm gonna decorate it with some stickers just so you can see the little cute stickers through the little heart wind so we're done so that's it so I just put the little stickers on there I'm gonna write the person's name that I'm gonna gift it to and you could also take a piece of ribbon or twine and tie it around the tw um, twine it <laughs> tie it around the box and you're done so was that easy okay, so we're done and I just showed you guys how to make the personalized candy box 
You can make these boxes in any size. And what I was mentioning about taking a plain shoe box. So this is just an old shoe box that I have. And what you would do is just take wrapping paper because there's Valentine's Day themed wrapping paper you can buy it at Michael's and then just wrap the outside of your box and then um, that would be a way for you to also recycle a box and put the candy in as well but you can use a tin can like I said just get creative in what you want to use it's totally up to you but I love this idea because it's super inexpensive it's simple it's more personalized than like I said going to a drugstore and purchasing a big box of candy just to give to them so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little Valentine's day tutorial on your own personalized candy gift box and I hope you'll try it um, you know do you don't even have to use candy you could put granola if that's what they like I don't know you know how some people are they're like anti candy whatever I like candy so I will see you guys next week for another Valentine Day inspired DIY share the love bye <laughs>